Hope you guys are doing fine. As for me, I've been busy as usual being a dad to three girls that are growing up really fast. Right, so that's enough about me for the moment. Okay, for today's review, I will be reviewing something a little bit different compared to what I usually review. And today's review is about this CF Express card. It's the 512 gigabyte Element CF Express card type B by Accessend. Full disclaimer, Accessend did send me this CF Express card for reviewing and they did say I can keep the card too. Also along with the card, they did also send me their special card reader just for me to use too for this review. And yeah, thanks so much XSN for sending these two things out to me. Also throughout this review, I am just gonna include all the sample footage that I managed to snap using this card. So yeah, they'll all be labeled in this video. And as always, for those of you guys who are familiar with this channel, you guys know that my reviews are not going to be technical reviews with charts and stuff like that. It's just me sharing my experiences using a product or an item for that matter. So if that does tickle your fancy, then I guess this review is definitely for you guys. Right, so let's just start this review like how I usually start all my reviews. Let's first talk about the build quality of this product. So far, it's like any other CF Express card, I guess. The packaging is really good. The build quality is really good. Since it is a small package, I can't really talk much about the build quality, but all in all, it feels like any other CF Express card out there. The build quality is really good. The packaging is really nice. It feels very plush. It feels like any other sort of um, memory card that you might buy over the shelf. So all in all, I'd say the experience the packaging everything is spot on is good right now since the build quality is out of the way now let's briefly go over the specs of this card so this card is rated to have a read speed of about 1800 megabytes a second and a write speed of 1400 megabytes a second so it's pretty fast it is something that i would expect in terms of what this card is it is a type b card and that's the kind of speed that i'm used to seeing on any packaging for that matter due to its ability to write at such high speeds this card has definitely no issues with writing 8k raw as it's claimed to be able to do and and i'll be honest with you for this review i didn't shoot in 8k raw but i did give 8k in the standard non-raw mode a try and it works fine but anyway since we are talking about the specs right now we'll talk about that much later in the video this card also comes with an exclusive data recovery service which i think is super useful to have because there are definitely times where suddenly i don't know where those files have gone and it's always nice and comforting to know that you do have some form of recovery because believe me i've been through it i have accidentally deleted data from my memory card before and it's one of those experiences that really really is so nerve-wracking especially if it is something to do with a real job at hand fortunately i didn't have many of those experiences but yeah it's always good to have some form of backup somewhere Okay, now let's briefly look at the usability and experience of using this card. Oh, and before I forget, thank you so much Onyx for allowing me to film some stuff for this review. Really appreciate it, thanks guys. Anyway, let me just share with you guys some of the findings I did find while using this card with my EOS R5. In general, I have to say that I am not what you may call a long haul type of shooter when it comes to videos. I usually shoot my videos in short bursts and I hardly shoot long stretches of video all at once. But as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I am going to share my personal findings based on the way I use this product. So I can't really share the exact same kind of findings as someone that might be using this card for long haul stretches. What I did realize though, whenever I was shooting with the card, the card definitely does get a little bit warm and it can get quite hot especially if you're shooting in 8k so that's something to bear in mind if you're shooting in high 4k 120 or 8k or anything like that then if you're gonna shoot a lot longer than a few minutes you are definitely gonna feel that this card is gonna get hot but I think that is pretty normal and it happens with pretty much any brand so it's not specifically you know something that happens to a specific brand it is just the physics of this card it is something that's recording a lot of data and you are bound to make this card get really really hot 
That being said, I did manage to do a simple comparison with my 256 megabyte Lexar CF Express card, and I found that the Lexar card was slightly faster overall, but this difference is really marginal, and I was told too that the Lexar card that I have was a slightly higher spec card compared to the one that I received by Exasan. So they did tell me that it won't be a fair comparison. If I did want to compare apples to apples, then I should really have the other card that they actually do make, which is the essentials card the one that i have with me is the element card so yeah that would be something that will be quite interesting to try if i do manage to get that to compare with right then so what's my conclusion after using the cf express card a few weeks now what do i think about this card well so far after using this card for a few weeks i can say that this card is pretty reliable i didn't have anything that was skipping i didn't really have any issues i didn't have any bad data you know there wasn't anything that i could really say off the cuff that made me really hate this card in terms of reliability everything will seem to work fine i didn't have you know skipping frames dropping frames and stuff like that so all in all i can say that this card is actually pretty worth trying out if you're out there to look for a CF Express card of this type and at a slightly lower price than some of the competition out there so yeah all in all I can say that this card is a reliable card and it is definitely worth the money another thing that's worth mentioning too is that this CF Express card has also passed some of the standards that has been set by DJI red BMB which is black magic design and Z cam so I guess it pretty much meets all the standards that these big companies actually do set so yeah you don't really have much to worry about this card right then so so that's it for my review this time hope you did find this review helpful and useful if you did please don't forget to give me a like share and subscribe make the, all those algorithms work for me and work for this channel also i would like to thank xsn once again for sending this card out to me and i'm so sorry that i didn't manage to get this review out much sooner i have been so swamped with so many things anyway don't forget do check out all the links in the description down below i have left all the links to all the gears that i use to make these videos so do check them out to support this channel also, if you do like to support this channel by making a small contribution, I did leave a link to buy me a coffee and also my PayPal link if you guys do want to check that out. Right then, I guess that's it for my review this time. See you guys in the next review. Peace. <laughs>